What's easier, people or scenery? Well, scenery is easier because, you know, don't look at anybody. <laughs> right. You can do it with it what you want. Living to be 100 years old is a major milestone for anyone to reach. But now imagine that when it comes to your favorite hobby, you still enjoy the same talents you did decades ago. Tonight in Small Town, Jeff Alexander introduces us to a Wrightstown woman still painting beautiful, beautiful works of art. When the calendar turned to 2023, it meant a special year for Jermaine Smith. Just got done celebrating January 8th. That's the day Jermaine turned a century old. Tremendous. Yet a milestone she never expected to reach. For some odd reason, I just thought, I'm just, something will happen. I'll get in a car accident or something and fall and hurt myself. Then I'm, so I'll pass on, but I didn't. Growing up in the Wrightstown area, Jermaine graduated high school in 1940. Shortly after, she decided to pursue a hobby inspired by her mom. That took her two winters to do, because look at all that snow. Then the war started, and the boys all had to go to service, so what do you do? You know, either go with girlfriends someplace or you stay home. And uh, my mother was painting, I thought, I should try that once and see how that would go. Based on her very first painting. I didn't even ask my mother how, how to mix the colors. Germaine had discovered an undeniable talent. You have a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. And I love, not like that painting fall scene, you know, and putting those colors in. And it's also the gift to still have a nice, steady hand. That's the big gift. After getting married and starting a family, Germaine took a break from painting to raise her family. But once her children were on their own, she picked up a brush again and found a new style of painting. That's one thing about watercolor. You can do so many different things with it. Over the last 35 years. That got started then with cards for birthdays and Christmas and graduations. And, <laughs> and a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. Each of Jermaine's five children, 10 grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren have received a hand-painted card. Oh, wait till you see some of my Christmas cards. For every holiday or special occasion. Then I know that, then, uh, that they'll remember me. Those cards are family treasures. She got an albums for each one of her children and they got all their cards in it. Well, that must make you feel special. Oh, yes. And then they show it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's a new card or her latest creation on canvas, Germaine paints just about every day, one and a half hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. She says she doesn't want to sit any longer because after all, she has daily exercises, errands and chores around the house to focus on as well. Yeah, people say, oh, I'm so bored. I can't say that. There's enough hours in a day for me. She's simply an amazing woman who considers herself deeply blessed with good health and a steady hand after all these years. That's amazing. That part, I amaze myself. <laughs> Spend a little time with Jermaine and you sense a woman who is at peace and grateful to still be painting beautifully at 100 years old. In Wrightstown with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. Boy, a gift indeed. Those cards are absolutely striking. Congratulations.